All right, welcome shortwave listeners and YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to decode digital signals using the Sony SW7600GR. Now the Sony was not designed specifically for this purpose, being just a portable general purpose shortwave receiver. However, there are some things we can do uh, along with the software on the laptop to uh, decode some of these signals. Today we're going to look at WSPR, which is the Weak Signal Propagation Reporter. This particular digital protocol was developed by Joe Taylor, a physicist from Princeton, uh, who discovered a binary pulsar system which helped pave the way for gravity waves. He was also a, an amateur radio enthusiast and was very interested in uh, low power propagation. And what, what he developed were some digital protocols to look at pro propagation with very, very low power and amateurs could use this to report across various bands the propagation characteristics. So what we will do in this case is set up the Sony with the necessary software and try to receive the WSPR uh, signals across various bands. Now the requirements for this are pretty simple. You just need your antenna, whatever you have. Most likely an outdoor antenna would be the best in this case. Your Sony, you will need your patch cable. You want to patch your audio from your Sony into the laptop, which we'll do. I have a Sony patch, I have a stereo patch cable here. And I have the WSPR net software up, but that's not the actual requirement. The actual requirement to decode the signals is a package called WSJTX. And I will zoom in on that for you. So let's take a peek. There's plenty of plenty of uh, tutorials to install WSJTX on your laptop. So I'll let you find those, just get it installed, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about the configuration for you. All right, I'll assume you have WSJT installed. The only step you need to do to configure this is to go to File Settings and select the Audio tab. Make sure that your input is your line in on either your computer or laptop. Um, that would basically be the patch cord that is coming from your Sony into the computer. And that's all we need to do because at this point what we're trying to decode are the audio signals at a specific frequency. And with the patch cord in, we'll be able to do that. Now that you have uh, WSJT set up, let's take a look at Whisper WSPR, uh, specifically at its frequencies. And you can take a look in the lower left of the screen there, you'll see the the set frequencies that the amateur community has designated for whisper propagation reports. If you take a closer look, let's take a look at 40 meters or 7.0386. Those of us who have the Sony realize that our Sonys can only uh, tune in one kilohertz steps. So we can't get uh, more precision under one kilohertz. So we're gonna have to do a bit of a trick here to offset our frequency by 400 kilohertz. I'm sorry, 400 hertz. Uh, in our case, because we have USB and LSB as a feature on the Sony, what we can do is we can use an existing signal and listen for a 400 hertz uh, offset uh, beat frequency. And in the next step, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you can hear I have my uh, Sony set to WWV right now. Uh, I want you to find a clear signal of WWV somewhere on your Sony and go to onlinetonegenerator.com and what we're going to try to do is we're going to set a tone of 400 hertz and we're going to match the beat frequency on the sony to that 400 hertz signal so once we have both of those set up i'll show you the next step on what we have to do specifically with the sony all right next step is set your sony to a clear reception of wwv on a frequency uh, that works for the propagation time. And then also go to onlinetonegenerator.com. Now what we're, what we're going to do is we're specifically going to adjust the, the frequency at 400 hertz on the online tone generator. Let's play it for you. So you can hear that. And we are going to set the sideband beat frequency to the same tone. So let's turn on the radio again. Let's turn on single sideband. Okay, now if I adjust it upwards, now you can hear the beat frequency. Now play the tone at the same time. We're pretty close already. I'll go higher. 
higher, you can hear that tone. Too low. Almost there. Very hard to adjust with the sideband fine tune. Ooh, very close. There, almost matched. You can hear it drifting. That's the other problem with the Sony, it drifts quite a bit. Let's bring it back up. Feel a little low, it keeps drifting back down. There, we have a match. All right, I've reconnected the patch cable and you can hear some of the audio very lightly coming out of the computer. I have WSJT running right now with the waterfall. Uh, what, what we want to do right now is we're going to use the 40 meter signal for WSPR. Now, because I adjusted it off 400 hertz, I can now go to 7.039 megahertz uh, instead of 7.0386 because we adjusted up by 400 hertz. So let's do that. We'll adjust it to 7039. And I'm going to up my volume a little bit so I get a little more signal. And now I will zoom in on the waterfall and let's see if we have some signals and how close we actually got on that frequency. I hear something. You can see all the noise from before I had done the uh, frequency change. One thing you're going to notice about the Sony and the uh, sideband adjustment wheel is it drifts quite a bit. So once you've adjusted it, you're going to see a significant amount of drift. And that is a bit of a problem to get this working correctly because we're never going to be very precise. The point of this tutorial is really just to get you to be able to decode the signal. And I'm not seeing a lot of strong signals right now, but we're going to let it run for a while. And then we'll come back and see if we have received anything yet. All right, I waited a few minutes here for the signal to to simply settle a little bit and for the actual uh, Sony's SSB fine adjustment wheel to also settle because it tends to drift based on the tension, the actual mechanical tension in that wheel. But as you can see, we're seeing some strong signals now between somewhere around 14 to 1600. Looks like I'm off a little bit um, because the WSPR frequency, the audio frequency spectrum allocated range is between 1400 to 200 hertz range between 1400 and 1600 hertz. But that's okay. We're close right now and what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can actually decode signals um, in that range. Looks like we have a few in the 14, maybe between 14 and 1500. One thing to note, please do not select, if you see in the upper left, do not select upload reports from your Sony. Your Sony is not precise enough, nor is your configuration precise, precise enough to do this. So don't check that box because your reports are going to be off, your frequency is going to be off. So just keep that in your mind. All right, so let's move up and see. Look at this. We've actually decoded some signals. As you can see, they're not too distant. Looks like I have a couple very strong ones here right close to me in my uh, region. But I have one that is 868 kilometers away, KC4 OLE, and uh, looks pretty good. So it looks like it's working. Now what we can do, you can see that the signals down below were shifted off a little bit from the 1400 to 1600 range. I would imagine these two are probably uh, whisper, whisper signals as well. But all you have to do is continually adjust your single sideband um, fine adjustment wheel on the Sony to try to get this close as possible in that range. And then what you can do is start changing your frequencies. So now we can start changing frequencies across bands the offset is 400 hertz in most bands. In some other bands, it's 300 hertz. So you'll have to take a look at that and make that adjustment yourself. But as you can see, we are receiving signals. And if, if you continue this process, you may be able to, to uh, 
look into some of the uh, higher frequency bands or even the lower frequency bands. So the interesting one would be the 660 uh, meter band underneath the AM spectrum. If you could uh, decode those signals with a Sony, I have not tried that yet to, to see if that works. But um, interestingly, this works very well. So I hope that helps. I see more signals just came in. Hope that helps you uh, configure your system. Scroll down a little bit. Looks like we get another signal here, W2RCL, 1,470 kilometers away. Uh, again, it all depends on propagation. That's the point of this. And there's some settings you can play with with this. So enjoy digital propagation with your Sony. Um, in the future, I will be doing a few more videos on other digital modes, but let's start with Whisper today. And this will be a fun exercise with Sony. You can uh, look across the bands at uh, various times of the day and see what you can receive. Hope you enjoyed it.